Ethiopia is a country with resources stretched to the limit due to terrible drought conditions suffered for nearly 10 years. With three times the population of Australia crammed into a country not much larger than the state of South Australia, it has always struggled to feed her children. More than one million people have already died in Ethiopian famines, and the deadly combination of geography and climate increases the terrible risk of hunger, starvation and death. The crisis in Ethiopia is almost beyond comprehension. Children suffering in agony, mothers unable to help them, disease and despair, all on unfathomable scale. <laughs> I'm standing here in Awasa, Ethiopia. We're just uh, about 200 kilometres south of the main capital, right in the middle of Ethiopia, where we've been distributing food here this week. We've prepared 10,000 food packs that we're distributing to families in one particular village where we started distributing this food. Each food pack is getting about 35 kilos of food, and so we've got a team of volunteers getting it ready. And as we go out, they're invited to a crusade to hear the gospel, but as we distribute it, a pastor, a local pastor, is speaking to, to the people in their, in their local dialect and sharing a message, just a simple message, telling them about the love of Jesus. And so each time as we distribute this food, everywhere we go around the world, we share the gospel and they have a chance to accept Jesus as their Lord. It's been such a joy to be here in Africa. These people, are, their lives are being changed because they're hearing the gospel. We wouldn't be here in the middle of Africa without the support of partners and friends like you. Your support makes all the difference. We can't do everything, but we can do something. And you're doing something right now. And I'm just so thankful for your support. Thank you. A council of local pastors and elders chose the city of Awasa as the most practical location to warehouse and distribute our food. Lying three hours south of the capital, Awasa is the third largest regional centre in Ethiopia, with 200,000 people living within 50 kilometres of the main city. This Awasa warehouse was the destination for the 350,000 kilograms of the basic food that is so vital to the Ethiopian diet. This shipment was broken down into 10,000 food packs so that each family would receive 20 kilos of corn, 10 kilos of wheat and 5 kilos of beans. Whenever Feed the Hungry distributes food around the globe, it is always through a local church on the mission field. We benefit in three main ways. Firstly, we gain leaders with the local knowledge of the area that Feed the Hungry is distributing food to. Secondly, we're able to mobilize manpower from the, the large pool of volunteers that comes with every church congregation. And lastly, we are saved from the burden of bringing logistics teams to organize the food distribution. Our food distributions work hand in hand with evangelical crusades and special pastors conferences. Traveling from different regions in Ethiopia, almost 2,000 pastors and church leaders filled this small church to capacity. Each leader was provided handouts and taught simple leadership concepts to boost their effectiveness and maintain their motivation. Pastor Billy Joe Doherty exhorted the pastors to rely on the Holy Ghost to preach the gospel and to change their nation. Every person that receives food from now on would feed the hungry also gets a Bible. And uh, we started that about a year ago, and it's been a privilege and opportunity that we can uh, spread the word to hungry people so that we can feed them body, soul, and spirit. Our Feed the Hungry office in the Czech Republic funded the translation and printing locally of a Derek Prince book called The Divine Exchange. Family food packs were distributed with Bibles and a copy of this book. Pastor Billy Joe and Sharon Doherty led an evangelical crusade in Awasa. Over 100,000 people heard the gospel, with hundreds of people surging to the altar every night in response to the altar call. She has 10 children. All hers. And her husband is working, he's one of the road crew on the road construction in town. So he's got a, a good job working there. They've lived uh, in, the, in this house for 16 years. And uh, it's pretty sizable compared to the other ones we've seen. And I thank you, Father, you will speak to her every day. It was no surprise for us to see the food being put to use the next day because local pastors had already singled out specific areas and the most needy people to receive our food packs, like here in Dato Village. Dato Village represents just one of the 75 locations surrounding Awasa, where the same process of food distribution and sharing the gospel will be repeated 
all throughout Awasa. Just about 20 years ago, uh, the Lord laid on Dr. Sumrall's heart the vision of Feed the Hungry, of feeding God's hungry children. And uh, it really was taken from uh, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And the Lord spoke to my dad and said that thousands were hungry all over the world of God's children. They were going to bed at night and they weren't being fed. And that's where the vision of Feed the Hungry came from. And today we're reaching out around the world, delivering millions of pounds of food. And I'm standing right now in a small village just outside of Awasa, Ethiopia, where we're getting ready to feed a few hundred families that will lead to a few thousand families. Because of your faithfulness and your help, we're able to feed the hungry people all over the world. And I want to thank you so much. God bless you for your faithfulness and help as we continue to reach out literally to the untold billions. Dr. Lester Sumrall, my father, founded Feed the Hungry in 1987 with the goal and vision of feeding God's hungry people. These people all belong to the church. It's right behind me. And because of your faithfulness and your help, we're able to continue to feed the hungry. God bless you and thank you.